that guy. Just afraid of the hits you know. Yeah. 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 You know, getting older, the guy gets in there, I, would, I can't wait till heaven. Yeah. Then the body will be able to handle this stuff. You get older, you got medication, you got stuff associated with the medication, and you get, and you got to, Michigan, I mean, <laughs> for my pain, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Amen. And boy, we love you all, and we're thankful that we've got another year. Amen. And uh, Lord willing, we'll have another one next year. And uh, Glory. hopefully we've grown more, all of us, closer to the Lord. Yes. Uh, got some, uh, I don't know if your church has, we have a thank Thanksgiving service. We started in Galilee and having them, and we just have them. It's just a blessing to hear the people over the year, you know, uh, and you just see the growth, you know. And the main thing is the presence of God, that you know yourself. Yes. Not that you're just saved, but there's more than that. Yeah. That he's personally involved in your life. Yes. You. When you pray, he hears you. And that's when you need to graduate, too, because we're coming to a time in this country, who knows? History reveals some strange stuff when you think at least happened overnight. The whole thing changed. You, you know how to get a hold of God for yourself. Because you got the book. You need to get, get that down. I'm serious. This, I love this. Brother Sykes, yeah. Brother Ludrick, one day, uh, he praised God. God's raising him up. And then Brother Sykes, like uh, Brother McGee said in Africa there, uh, one day, here he's a missionary serving God. No feeling, head down. Broke his neck, got an accident. You don't know. You know. And stay away from people that will say, well, that's because. When you hear that, say, I'm not listening to this. When they get all puffed up and say, yeah, but you. Say, listen, I told you I'm not listening to this. I fear the Lord. And that could happen to me. And if you're even thinking that. It's probably going to happen to you. Because you ain't thinking right. <laughs> Amen. So, CDs, Bibles, fellowship, do whatever you got to do. Drive carefully. Those of you that are drunk on the Holy Ghost, you must turn on your headlights. <laughs> All I can tell you, I did that one time. I thought they were armed. I went an awful long way with them not on because everything was bright. It could have been just me, but uh, you know, it's weird. People go by and beep the horn. That light gets loose, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a good thing. Amen. Let's uh, go, Lord, in prayer and close this out. And Brother Grady, why don't you close this out today? Oh, thank you for a good service tonight. Yeah. Versus all this church and hard work. Thank you.